uh, I'm Gary Scheid, Director of Communications for OSU, and it's a uh, terribly sad day for all of Oklahoma State, and uh, we wanted to give you a few more details that we have, and then uh, President Bernd Vargas will speak and give you his thoughts, and then uh, Jim Motel, Associate Head Coach, uh, who will be the interim head coach, will speak, and then uh, Coach President Vargas will take take a few questions. Uh, many of you all may have already found out some of the details, but just to reiterate uh, that uh, Coach Butkey and uh, Miranda Serna uh, were on a uh, recruiting trip yesterday, and they were with uh, Olin Brandstetter and Paula Brandstetter. Uh, Mr. Brandstetter is a former state senator. The pilot. His wife was also a pilot, uh, so there was the four of them on the on the plane. Um, they were going to a couple of games uh, in Little Rock to see some recruits around six and eight o'clock. And uh, hunters uh, reported call 411 or 911. Uh, the first call came from hunters uh, that saw a plane go down around four o'clock. Uh, the U.S. Forest Service. Uh, and the sheriffs, the uh, Perry County Sheriff, uh, were the first ones on the site uh, around 6 o'clock, and uh, the coroner arrived there at about 7 o'clock. Uh, we were notified, the university was notified after midnight uh, while it, uh, to identify uh, remains, and uh, the university was notified around 1.30 a.m. Uh, of the accident and who was involved. So we started uh, notifying people at that time. That's really as much as we know about uh, the accident. Uh, we really can't answer anything further about that. Uh, obviously, it's being investigated. We have a member of our uh, police department and a, a member of the athletic department who are on their way over to Arkansas right now to be on the ground and help uh, in that situation. So they're on their way over there. Uh, the plane did go down in the Washita Forest, uh, so it was a heavily wooded area. Uh, as we announced in our release, uh, we will not play games Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the girls team had games both, both days. Uh, whether those will be rescheduled, that's something we're looking at. So for now, those two games will not be played. Um, the wrestling team uh, is also canceled uh, tonight's match and Sunday's match. So. Those four events will not be played, and those, those two basketball games were home games, so those will all be uh, canceled. We are uh, already making plans for a memorial service that uh, will probably have, take place on Monday, so we will get out further details about that, particulars uh, about that. Uh, we have counselors uh, are available for our the athletic staff, the, the basketball team, obviously, and any student on campus and anyone on campus that needs help. So our counselors have already been very involved in, in helping out. So with that, uh, I will turn it over to President Burns Vargas. An incredibly devastating event. Uh, it's our worst nightmare. Uh, the, uh, the entire OSU family is very close very close indeed and, uh, to lose anyone uh, and especially these two individuals who were incredible life forces uh, in our family uh, is uh, it's worse beyond words uh, Ann and I were with the family this morning and uh, it, 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 they, they need all of our prayers uh, all of our support something like this happens and God forbid it happened again uh, we have to pull together as a family we got to try to do that uh, I think this is the longest I've gone without without tearing up um, so uh, as Gary says we, we don't know a lot about what happened and how it happened uh, but we know they're gone uh, and uh, at least from our president, but I know they're here in our hearts. Uh, so I just ask everyone to pull together and, and to support each other and, and the 
Budke family and the Sarit family, <coughs> Cerner family, uh, in every way possible. So I'll take the questions. As far as if you can just put into words what, what Kurt did here, I, I mean, it's remarkable the success he had, just the person that he was, so he was just broken. Well, you know, I, I think people don't uh, fully appreciate, who are not in athletics and certainly not in the coaching profession, I, I don't know how much they appreciate uh, what incredible mentors these people are to, uh, to their teams. Uh, I, I've always said coaching is a lot more about psychology than it is about, uh, than it is about the nuts and bolts of the particular sport. Our coaches, coaches everywhere, guide their students uh, in, in, in developing the life skills that they they need to be successful in life. Perseverance, hard work, practice, all, all the dedication that's required. And I know of no one that did that better than Kirk. Uh, Ann and I were also very fond of Miranda. She was from an area in New Mexico that we know very well. Uh, first her family to go to college. Uh, they were just both beautiful people. And uh, I, I, I'd love to be the man that Kirk Bucky is and <coughs> the person that Miranda was. So. When you heard news about today's crash, did it take you right back? Well, not, you know, not immediately. I mean, I was focused on on the family and, and uh, <coughs> this tragedy. I mean, the other was, of course, a monumental tragedy as well. Uh, but uh, and, and those comparisons and, and reflections will obviously come up. But, uh, but right now, uh, we pulled together then. It was a very hard time uh, under the leadership of Jim Halligan and Coach Sutton. Somehow, uh, we all we all made it to the other side. and. Um, without ever forgetting, we'll always remember, and, uh, and we'll always remember Kurt and Miranda. You mentioned you spent some time with the family. Can you tell us about those conversations that you had? Well, it's just, it's just what you would expect. I mean, it's when, when somebody is young and vibrant, uh, uh, and, and I should correct that, I have not been uh, with the Cerner family yet, uh, although we're hoping to see them soon. But I have been with uh, Shelley and the, and the kids, and uh, it's I mean, it, you, can, you can imagine uh, the, the absolute devastation that this is. It's just there's no way to describe it. You know, as I say, you got to pull together, but you don't it, you, you don't forget. Remembering is part of the whole process, I think, and and, and receiving inspiration from from their lives. Uh, but, uh, but there's nothing easy right now. It's a lot of hugs and, and uh, a lot of tears. What was the last communication that you went had with Kurt or Miranda? Um, you mean that I had or, or that you had or, or anyone else? Yeah. Well, I see, see, see them all the time. I mean, uh, I often uh, see uh, see Kurt and and, uh, and or Miranda somewhere around the. Calligraph Arena. They were here all the time. Um, as far as last communications, Jim might have a better, uh, better feel for that. How will you move forward with the team to learn winning? To just feel out what they feel like doing. Is it then forward? Obviously, you're not going to play this weekend. But how do you move forward with them? Well, obviously, their their connection is uh, is deeper than theirs and the coaches uh, are deeper in the staff or deeper than anybody else's uh, and I think we do have to be very sensitive to, to their uh, their situation and uh, and not to push push anybody in fact I, I'm, I appreciate Jim being here but I told him he didn't have to be he wanted to be okay how tough is this? Obviously, with all the excitement going on with your football team, to have such a tragedy like this. How, how well, it's just a cold slap of realism. Um, as 
to say, I think I think the most important thing about sports are what the, what the players learn from it, and what we should learn from it uh, in, in reviewing them. Um, but you know, that's that's just the sport. This is life or death. Sadly, it's death. Given the way the campus community and Stillwater has come together in the ten years since the previous tragedy, uh, does that give you any hope or inspiration uh, that you be able to similarly bond this time around? Well, at the point we are right now, you, it, it looks very dark. And it, it's hard to see any any light at all. But if we do, if we, if we really help each other and support each other through this, someday, somehow. Will uh, we, we will manage, but as I say, it'll never be by forgetting. Just as just as with our tragedy ten years ago, uh, we will remember. What counseling options are available for the students, faculty, and staff? Well, there's a, there's a good deal, and it got me. Susie Burke might want to respond to that uh, to you later, but uh, we have a full staff of counselors. <coughs> available to everyone, especially to the, the athletic department, and to the team, and of course, and all the staff. Ten years ago, the decision was made not to cancel um, men's basketball games following the plane crash. Why was the decision made this go around to cancel the games? I think you deal with those things in the, in the instant circumstance, and uh, we just felt like this was the best approach, was the best decision. What about those families who were affected by 10 years ago by the OSU men's um, basketball uh, crash? You know, now seeing these images and, and remembering, and you know, it's going to be dredged up by the media and and the public. Um, what about those families? Well, I don't think the ache ever goes away. Uh, we see we see the families often, uh, and uh, we we have a memorial uh, gathering every year. Um, and I'm sure that, that that kind of pain never really fully leaves you. Um, shouldn't never leave you. But uh, they've been incredibly supportive, and I dare say they will be for us as well. Say a few words. And, uh, okay. I don't think he's going to take any questions, uh, but he will give you his thoughts and kind of let you know how the team's notified. Uh, basically, our Thoughts and prayers go out to Shelly and the kids, the coach, uh, service, mom, Nettie, and, and their family. You know, seven seven years ago, when we walked through these doors, the coach walked through for the press conference. His zeal for Oklahoma State was uncomparable. And he loved this place. He loved this place. He loved coming in here every day. You know, I've talked to Coach Ford. What a what a team player. So let's go and talk to the football coaches. Let's let's talk to Coach Ford. Everybody here loved the man. Loved the man. He was far more than a basketball coach. I want people to realize that. He was far more than a basketball coach. Talk about a loving husband, a tremendous dad. We would sit around and, and brag about our kids and, and how much we love our kids and watching them grow up in a great community. You know, this this was this was his dream situation. And uh, you know, every day we'd bring a recruit in, he'd walk a middle court and he goes Look at this place. Look at this place. I love this place. And, and, and he meant it from the heart. You know, Coach Becky was a ball coach. Don't, you know, what he did to turn this program around is unbelievable. That's not important right now. What's important is he was a father figure to these kids. He had a tremendous knack of, of taking kids that maybe were struggling in some part of their life and making it better for them. And that, that was his, his strongest trait. 
Our kids, are, our kids, meaning players right now, are totally devastated. Uh, they love Coach Bucky. They love Coach Cerna. A lot of the reason that a lot of these kids are here is because of those two people. Coach Cerna, Cerna was a tireless worker and uh, got those kids believing in her. So obviously they're, they're hurting because we've lost two tremendous people to the OSU family. You know, he, he was a great basketball coach, but he was a better husband and a better dad and a better friend. And I think all the people that are in this room and, and knew Coach Bucky are better off for knowing him. And uh, he will not be forgotten. He will never be replaced. And uh, I love the man. Where is it, Carrie? The East Lobby. The East Lobby. Of East, East Lobby that uh, people have probably already started signing a banner that's been put up. So if you would want to have pictures of that, that's in the East Lobby. Uh, unless anyone has any other questions, we appreciate you all being here on such short notice. Uh, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, is that where the university is setting up a place for everyone to come and? Pay their respects and yes. over by this banner. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you very much.